Welcome sa course na Engineering Mechanics, particularly Statics of Rigid Bodies. Solve pa tayo ng mga sample problems tungkol sa force vectors. Number 3. T-forces act on a bracket. Determine the magnitude and direction theta of F1 so that the resultant force is directed along the positive X prime axis and has a magnitude of 800 Newton. So, ito yung uh, tanong. So, theta tsaka F1. Kung yung FR is equal to 800 na nandun sa X prime axis. So, yung X component ng resultant force. So, based dun sa given. So, 800 cosine 30. So, in 30 dahil 90 minus 60 degrees. Dahil nga yung resultant force na sa X prime axis. Tapos yung FRY. So, 800 sine 30 naman. So, ito yung summation ng uh, forces or yung x component ng mga force tapos yung y component ng mga force. So, para makuha natin, so F1, x is equal to F1 sin 60 plus theta. So, ito yung mga equation kanina, yung x component ng resultant force at yung y component ng resultant force para makuha yung F1 pati yung theta yung pwede natin gamitin formulas. So, pwede mo rin itry na iba, pero, sa so tingin ko, ito na yung pinakamadali para makuha itong problem na to. And then, F2X or X component ng second force, so zero. So, yung X component ng third force, so ratio ulit ng X component ng third force, tsaka yung uh, third force, yung F3, is equal dun sa, nasa triangle. So, same sila ng uh, cosine. So, 12 over 13. So, multiply both sides sa uh, 13 tsaka F3. So, F3x is equal to 12 over 13 times 180 and then yung direction ay to the left. So, therefore, summation ng uh, x components. So, F1 sine 60 plus theta minus yung 12 minus 13 times 180. So, minus dahil to the left yung component ng force na yan. Para naman sa summation ng y components, so F1y, so F1 cosine 60 plus theta. So, cosine dahil yung uh, y-axis or yung sa y component ay adjacent dun sa 60 plus theta based on sa figure. Tapos F2Y, so directed along the y-axis, so 200 na sa given. Tapos yung F3Y naman, so 5 over 13, so vertical uh, component. So dahil kagaya nung uh, format dun sa F3X, so 5 over 13 times uh, 180. Therefore, summation ng y-components, so equal sa F1 cosine, 60 plus theta plus 200 plus 5 over 13 times 180. So, positive lahat dahil directed upwards yung mga y components ng mga forces na yan. At yung given na uh, FRX or yung summation ng x components, so 800 cosine 30, tsaka yung summation ng y components, 800 sine 30. So, substitute natin dun sa equations. So, meron tayong dalawang equation, tapos meron din tayong dalawang unknowns. Pwede na itong isolve. So, yung mabubong equation, F1 in terms of theta. So, ang ginawa lang dun sa equation na nasa una. So, add both sides ng 12 over 13 times 180, tapos divide both sides ng sin 60 plus theta. So, inayos ko lang na nasa left side yung F1, tapos nasa right side yung uh, may a variable na theta. Tapos, substitute dun sa second equation. So, natin magiging form. And then, makita natin yung cosine over sine ay cotangent or 1 over tangent. Kaya ganito. So, simplify pa. So, subtract both sides ng 200 tsaka ng 5 over 13 times 180. Tapos, uh, multiply both sides ng uh, tangent 60 plus theta and then divide both sides ng 
uh, yung magiging uh, constant dun sa tangent 60 plus theta na term. Which is yung 800 sine 30 minus 200 minus 5 over 13 times 180. So therefore, para makuha yung theta, so theta is equal to arc tangent na tong term na to. So pwede mo namang ilagay na sa calc no, para tas store na lang. And then minus 60. So therefore, arc tangent ng so 800 cosine 30 plus 12 over 13 times 180 over 800 sine 30 30 minus 200 minus 5 over 13 times 180. And then minus 60. So therefore, so store na lang sa A. Tapos, pwede na rin makuha yung F1. So substitute na lang. So 800 cosine 30 plus 12 over 13 times 180. And then over sine 60 plus yung naka-store sa A. So therefore, F1 ay 868.871. So, store ko na lang sa B. So, therefore, yung theta ay 21.3438 and so on degrees. Tapos, yung F1 ay 868.8712 and so on newtons. So, yun yung final answer. Problem number 4. If the resultant force acting on the bracket is required to be a minimum, determine the magnitudes of F1 and the resultant force in which yung given na phi is equal to 30 degrees. So I think tanong, if FR is at minimum, what is F1 at saka yung uh, magnitude ng resultant force? So yung component, so FR squared is equal to FRx squared plus FRy squared. Yung yung FRx or yung summation ng x components. So, x component ng F1. So, F1 sine phi. So, sine yung ginamit dahil opposite yung x component ng angle phi. And then, plus 200 dahil along the x-axis. So, yun na yun. Plus 5 over 13 dahil dun sa triangle, parallel ng x-axis yung 5. Tapos, over 13 times dun sa given na 260, yung along kagaya ng uh, sa side ng triangle na 13. And then FRx, or yung summation nga ng x components, so substitute lang yung phi, which is 30. Tapos simplify natin yung 5 over 13 times 260. So 260 over 13, 20. So 20 times 5 ay 100. So 200 plus 100, so 300. Para naman dun sa summation ng y components, so F1, cosine naman dahil adjacent ng angle phi yung y component ng F1, minus, so negative naman to dahil downward yung F3, yung y component ng F3. So 12 dahil yun yung parallel dun sa uh, y component, then over 13 times 260. So simplify ulit, so uh, 260 over 13 ay 20, so 20 times 12 ay 240, substitute yung 30 dun sa phi. So, substitute the equation. So, FR squared, F1 sine 30 plus 300 squared plus F1 cosine 30 minus 240 squared. So, kung naalala pa sa calculus para makuha yung minimum or maximum values, so, di-differentiate natin yung equation. So, pag di-differentiate yung equation na to, so, to FR, So, derivative ng FR with respect to F1 is equal to dun sa right side na term. So, ito yung derivative niya. So, to F1 sine 30 plus 300. So, sine 30 yung derivative ng nasa loob na term nung may power na 2. Plus, ganun din dun sa second term. So, 2 times F1 cosine 30 minus 240. Yung derivative na nasa loob ay cosine 30 lang. So, para makuha yung minimum at maximum, dahil nga yung first derivative, yun yung slope ng graph. So, pwedeng makuha ay minimum or maximum. So, dito, para maging minimum, so, FR at 
yung slope which is equal to 0. So, ginawa natin 0 yung slope, yung first derivative, yung derivative ng fr with respect to f1. And then, dinivide ko na rin yung buong term ng 2. So, ganito na lang yung simplified na term niya. So, f1 sine squared 30 plus 300 sine 30 plus f1 cosine squared 30 minus 240 cosine 30. Tapos, pag na-simplify pa, so, add both sides ng 240 cosine 30 and then, subtract both sides ng 300 tapos, arrange lang na nasa uh, left, uh, left side yung F1 tapos factor out yung F1 so F1 sine squared 30 plus cosine squared 30 is equal to 240 cosine 30 minus 300 sine 30 tapos yung identity na sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta which is equal to 1 kaya yeah, simplify pa natin to so F1 is equal to 240 cosine 30 minus 300 sine 30 so F1 so 240 cosine 30 minus 300 sine 30. So, store ko na lang to sa A. At para makuha yung FR, so, substitute na lang sa equation. So, square root ng F1, which is nakastore sa A, sine 30, uh, plus 300, and then squared, plus yung F1 nakastore sa A, so A, cosine 30, minus 240 and then squared. So, i siya ng resultant. So, ito na yung mga sagot. Okay, F1 is equal to 57.8460 and so on newtons. Tapos yung FR or yung mag ng resultant force ay 379.8076 and so on newtons.